What's going on everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W and I'm here on another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. This time we're talking the top three fantasy options when it comes to the Chicago Bears. Now I know what you might be thinking. Six and a half win total for the Chicago Bears. It's actually a featured bet uh, plus money to go six and a half. So what's there to like about the Chicago Bears this season? Well, let's enter in Justin Fields who uh, all things considered the passing numbers weren't there but we absolutely love that the rushing of Ability was coming on late in the 2021 season when you're looking at the last four games they're averaging about eight rushing attempts per game that's absolutely what we love to see from the quarterback position somebody who's a dual threat who's going to get it done both passing and potentially rushing the ball when we're looking at this offensive line which you know they really haven't done much the Chicago Bears to kind of sure up this offensive line PFF has it rated 31st um, so it's going to be a struggle for Justin Fields to to maybe get some time in the pocket so he might be asked to rush a little bit more we like that offensive coordinator new offensive coordinator Luke Getze there was pass game quarterback for the Green Bay Packers stays in the division goes to the Chicago Bears and hopefully he can do something with Justin Fields this year absolutely love getting him especially in two QB leagues where you can Let's talk about the running back position, and we'll go to David Montgomery. And David Montgomery, I mean, you know, when you're looking at total yards over the past three years, a thousand yard rusher, um, when you're factoring in the pass game ability work, and I know he had the knee sprain last year, which catched, kept him out of a handful of games, and that definitely didn't do anything for his, his fantasy numbers, but towards the end of the year, he was still getting it going. We absolutely love that with Justin Fields in those last two starts that Justin Fields had last year, 13 targets to David David Montgomery just maybe a brief preview to go back into the 2020 numbers when he was seeing about 60 targets for the entire year um, and this is an, an offense that could be utilizing him a lot's been talked about you know the Green Bay offense and and what is Luke Getze going to implement there as there's been a you, there's been a committee backfield uh, but if we can get pass game work like Aaron Jones saw with Green Bay and we get that from David Montgomery then he's going way too low as the RB20 currently as it stands right now absolutely love getting David Montgomery where we can in drafts. Finally, we got to talk about Darnell Mooney. And if 2022 is any inclination, we might be going to the moon with Darnell Mooney. Listen, this guy had 140 targets last year. You're looking at just over 1,000 yards. Really took over that alpha role when Allen Robinson was banged up dealing with contract issues and what have you. And while this offense might not be stellar, I think that Justin Fields is just going to have to look to get Darnell Mooney the ball. I mean, look at this depth chart outside of Darnell Mooney. We're talking about journeyman, you know, Dante Pettis, and they, you know, get Nikhil Harry for nothing and have a Equinomia St. Brown and Valus Jones, the 25-year-old rookie. I mean, Darnell Mooney is going to be in line to be an alpha target. And, you know, the same likes as we think of like a Brandon Cooks or Terry McLaurin being in bad offenses and paying off. I think Darnell Mooney is set for a third-year breakout, and I'm absolutely happy to get him currently where he's going just outside of the top 24 wide receivers. I really think he has a Upside to pay off his wide receiver 28 price tag. Guys, that's going to do it for the FanDuel Hurry Up. You guys catch me again on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. I'll see you next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Until then, peace.